March Madness, kind of, not quite so crazy yet. <laughs> yeah, we're, After we're, all, we're just we're four days into inching it. inching right? closer to March Madness. You Probably. feeling kind of crazy? It's March, what, 4th? Yeah. So on the verge of March Madness. Just but on for, the threshold of madness. <laughs> yes, for UAH, though, that magic, <laughs> not magic, March Madness, excuse me, it's already getting to my head, starts this week. Way 31's Lauren Cavasini breaks down what's ahead for the Chargers. Lyndon, it is officially the postseason for three of UAH's sports teams, the men's basketball team, women's basketball, and hockey. Uh, it's a game you've worked all year to have the chance to play at home. For the fourth time in four years, the Chargers get home court advantage in the first round of the Gulf South Conference Championship. We've been good at home lately, and we need to carry that forward tomorrow night. Third seed Chargers hosting sixth seed West Georgia, and there might be some bad blood between these two teams since the Chargers beat the Wolves just four days ago to end the regular season. Uh, just to play them back to back presents some real challenges. Now let's talk about the women's team at UAH. Tuesday night, the Lady Chargers traveled to Cleveland, Tennessee to take on Lee for their first postseason appearance since 2016. I, I got to give it a credit to these girls. I mean, it's the work that they've put in. Playing in March is a dream for all basketball teams and this program's worked extra hard to get here. I mean these girls are in the gym before practice, after practice, early morning, late night and that has made a huge impact. Lee has topped UAH the last two times they played in the regular season but Coach Lemon says her team has improved. The UAH hockey team secured their WCHA playoff spot last Friday after a come from behind win over 15th ranked Bowling Green. And that was the, probably the best game, the most complete game we played all year. That's what was nice. Now the Chargers head north to face Minnesota State in a best of three game series. We're playing the number four team in the country, so we're, we're going to have our work cut out for us. We will be out here at Spragans Hall tomorrow night for the men's game against West Georgia, so be sure to tune in tomorrow. And to keep up with all the teams and how they're doing in the postseason, be sure to check WayTV.com. Reporting in Huntsville, Lauren Cavasini, Way 31 Sports.